yo, yo, guess who we got in town? Yes, sir, Ski, you already know. It's Back with another video. We here in LA, the the second home base, which I left like two years ago. But I'm back in my old gym, No Limit Training Facility. You already know who it is. And guess who you see back here? No, he ain't trying to rob me. I'm black anyway, so it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, man? It's your boy Ski Mask Do West, man. I saw him. He came through Alpha Land like a few weeks ago or something. It was summer training or something. What was it for? It was for. Uh Actually, there was no event. It was, oh, no it was event. Before. I just came to see Professional Week Guy. Got you, got yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in uh, that video I actually just had up with Professional Week Guy. But saw him out there, man. Gave me a little spot. I was like, man, this man might have a, a future in giving me a spot. Yeah. <laughs> just joking. I'm just joking. That. But uh, you got some strength, man. Thank you know, you've been doing this for uh, how long now? You know, like social media? Uh, I would say a little over a year. A little over a yeah, year? Probably 15 months. And what, what brought you to the name of Ski Math US? Um, I tried a couple accounts before this, but I had the idea of like hiding my face because I feel like the, I saw the you in that, that little documentary. You yeah, had, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So basically, I was at like a low point. I wanted to get shredded, mm -hmm. but I, I feel like a lot of people focus on stuff that doesn't matter, which is like the way your face looks or like, you know, the other things. And I wanted them to only focus on my physique, and that's why I do it every day. Yeah. So I was like, I have to show up every day. Right. And if I'm not progressively getting more jacked, then I'm gonna get roasted. So I use social media as like an accountability. And then the leaner I got, you know, I started getting more attention from people. So then I just turned it into like an actual brand. Initially, I didn't want to do that. I was trying to just get myself right. Mm -hmm. But then I saw how many other people started and it made like a chain reaction. I was like, all right, now we now we got yeah, yeah, some positivity going. So yeah. that's, yeah. I want to go for a PR. Yeah, I'm going for a PR. I got to be 225 for 10 on flat 225 for 10 yeah. on flat. Okay, y'all know. Y'all know. If you know me, you know people who hit the bench with me. It, it's just something about like a 10% Elden Ring increase oh. of strength. You feel me? So we about to go ahead and kill it today. I think I might try to do something, you know, a little crazy, a little out of the program, you know, just just oh, yeah. because. But uh, let's go ahead and get it, man. Very nice guy. Yeah, even uh, bro, when I barely even met him at Alpha Land, he let me spot him. I thought that was sick because I've seen his stuff for a few minutes. So, yeah, bro. Shout out FB Aftermath. That guy's a G. Automatically flies on this, and then now I have to like, you know what I'm saying? 
So. Hey, everyone watching though, take notes. That was a smart move right there. Because a lot of people will be lifted in the gym. I'm not saying that's what that was because he smashed his weight a bunch of times, but if you ever feel that way, just don't go for the reps. Just don't do it. Size comes with age. <laughs> I've been hearing that from a lot of older dudes. They say like, bro, wait till you get to your late twenties, like you start getting way bigger. When I was, wait till I thirty. Huh? Really? Wait till thirty. 30 yeah, I mean, like, so I'm, I'm thirty now. Um, and then like, and then from, so if I'm gonna say like from like twenty to, to my journey from twenty to thirty, it was at twenty I was trying, I was drinking milk, a gallon. I was doing, I was one of those drinking like the gallon milk, Yo. uh, drinking eating rice. Uh, fucking <laughs> overdosed on creatine one time. <laughs> and I was like, uh, were you cramping up like crazy? Uh, my, my, I almost had like kidney failure. Oh or my god! Like I was, I was Damn. cramping up. I was, my, my skin got pale, and I was throwing up like because um, I lost the scoop to it. You know, oh, the normal, so and, then, and then I just kind of like got like a normal whatever, and then yeah, bro, I was. And then um, because I, I remember I was two fifteen. Uh, at, when I was 20, I was 215. Damn. And then I remember like, oh, you know, I want to get to 230. Five years go by, I'm at 230. You know, I, when, I, when I moved to New York, I'm at 230. I was like, oh shit, I'm at 230. And then, um, so I hover between 220 and 230. And then these last like two, three years, oh shit, I'm 240. You're 240 now? I'm, I'm, I'm 240, about 242, bro. And like, what well, the problem, the thing is, it's not like with dieting or anything. I don't have like a strict diet or anything. I just kind of eat whatever and, you know, uh, I, I I'm one of those that call it like, try to out train and stuff. Uh, <laughs> so like, it. if I'm eating bad, I'm like, all right, I gotta go to the gym two times today. Um, but don't do that. But it kind of it kind of works out for me. Um, but like, I don't. I, I never wanted to be this big. Oh really? No, I never oh. wanted to be this big. I want to stay between 220 and 230. That's so when I'm feeling like, the best. You feel like you're fast and like agile. At fast, time? agile, still strong. Damn. I felt like a more like a more tighter strong. Now I'm just I feel like a slow strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. So, That's pretty sick, though. Uh, so. Bro, my metabolism has been fucked up ever since the first time I competed. Yeah. I swear. I, I kid you not. The first time I competed, I was crying after the competition because, you know, you diet. That's the first time I've ever dieted so hard. And then I went back to my regular food, and I lost my abs for, like, two weeks. Uh, like, I was bloated for two, bro. I was, I was mentally, like, just depressed. Yeah, Shred used to live upstairs for me, and I wanted to be a part of Shred so bad, so I was just like, I was trying to suffer my way through for yeah. and, and compete, and I said, fuck this, bro. Yeah, bro.
don't know. That's 18. 18. Oh, that's I played. I played on being back. I'm on a new channel on 300k within like for sure within like two years. For sure. I honestly want under. Like I want to like I'm really especially getting an outplay. Like I'm really going to try to push for a million. Like like really push for a million. I like that. And like. We'll do it. Is it new people or people crossing over from your old channel? What do you mean? Like, are they going from your old channel and subscribing? Yeah, to people people are subscribing from my, my old channel and I know my new. So like, so I'm putting a video like one video up a week on my old channel and like two up on the new. And I'm gonna use that video and every time that I post on the new channel, my old channel to push people to the new. Mm -hmm. So we'll be going back and forth. Big shout out to Tarank, he's a super cool guy in person. Very humble, very knowledgeable. Run his stuff up, you know, use all his codes. Follow, subscribe to him everywhere. This is a solid dude, and he's where he's at for a reason. So, big respect to him, and I had a good time. Much love, once again, appreciate you coming out. You know, exactly. I know we tried to shoot in Houston, but you was heading out and stuff, and you decided to come through for your boys. So, much love to everybody, you know what I'm saying? And catch you guys later. Peace out. Hell yeah.